Hello everyone, welcome back to what is the final episode of COD Chaos on Deponia, not the game where 12 year olds call you gay and, you know, claim to have had sex with your mother. Anyway, last time we had some very serious stuff happen, Doc and people were kidnapped, Blast Tower, you know, every everything's currently teetering on the edge of oblivion. Anyway. Clearly time for a bit of, of fly action. Genetic fusion is irreversible. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> well, how are things at the front? Wolfush! At last! Grab a weapon and help us! We are hopelessly outnumbered! Uh, no, if I get involved. I'll just expose your incompetence. But you can do it. And I'm not saying that because there is any hope, but to motivate you. That's what you call leadership. Hmm. So things aren't looking awfully bright. On the other hand, Janosch has a big gun, so does so does Tony. Uh, Garleth and Leibold. Have little pistols, Garlef's not even shooting, but you know, they, they are still holding their own. However, the Organon seem to be engaged in some very creative uh, docking, taking off cover, something weird, something truly, truly bizarre. Hello, froggy frog frog. At last, I was on the verge of leaving without you. You know what they say about the Organon. That they resulted from an early attempt to cross human DNA with soya flour? That we always stick to our schedules. Ah, huh. you have your mother's sense of humor. We would have been here sooner if half the tower weren't cordoned hmm. off. Mothers have been mentioned, Do you I stand corrected. Have armed riffraff hanging out in your facilities? This ridiculous peasant uprising should be of no concern to you. Still, it seems odd that the Deponians are revolting at this very moment. Do you know anything about The Deponians about it? are revolting at any moment. To stop me. It's Rufus, just now they're fighting it as well. Fellow. He's an idiot. You underestimate him. That's it, baby. You tell him. He's only half as stupid as he looks. Double that, and you might have a point. He just doesn't know when the time has come for him to quit. Speaking of time, are you ready now? Just a moment, I left my bag inside. Get on with it! We will cast off as soon as the engines are warm, with your bag or without! Cletus! Here. Huh? Cletus? What's he doing? Bomb controls. La la la. Could he be fiddling with the bomb controls? I'm fiddling with the bomb controls. A la la la. No, that can't be what it looks like. This is just what it looks like. 
I'm really messing with the boo, with the bee, with the bar, with the bow, with the bomb controls. That, that, oh, that a boo, that a bee, that a bar, that a bow. Rufus got the groove, yeah. <laughs> but wait, that traitor, he's actually fiddling with the bomb controls. I've got to stop him. Hmm. Goal? Donna? Anybody? Huh, apparently no. No wonder. Hey! And the two other cars. I'll insert one. Hmm. Unfortunately, she must still have. Hmm. No picture, no sound. Hmm. Maybe if we put a cartridge directly in her. Mm. Oh, hey. Shh. hey! We've got a problem. Or, or rather two. We'll make that three. It's been a while since... What's the matter? You see Cletus... He's wrong. Something isn't wrong. Oops. Oh, I'm... Do I know. Feed him to the sharks. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Now, can we briefly consider the problem at hand? Sure. Bring it on. Cletus is about to return to Elysium with Lady Gold. And, just now, I caught him messing with the bomb controls. I think he wants to eliminate the population of Deponia. Then, there would be no more reason not to blow the place up. Oh, big time meanie. This is hard to believe. We have to tell Lady Goal about this. She might be a little hard to convince. Actions are better than thoughts. I learned that from you. Well, she obviously had a brilliant teacher. If her people skills are only half as good as mine, then... Huh, maybe I should follow her, just to make sure. And therefore, Cletus is the good guy and Rufus is nothing but a... Uh... Hey, ladies! Rufus, what are you doing here? You missed me, I know. But now's not the time for our big reunification foo for all. Our what? Has Baby Goal explained everything to you? I was going to, but it looks like I got some of it wrong. Lady Goal just explained to me why you cannot be trusted. What? But you were supposed to persuade Lady Goal, not the other way around. Oh. Right. That was your plan? I was almost going to say you need to think of something better, but you might take that as encouragement. Well, I do. Please don't fight. Don't worry, baby. Lady Goal is about to see her mistake. Yes, I do see my mistake. The mistake is you. And even Baby Goal isn't quite as naive as you seem to believe. Right. But, hey, look, did I just see a funny butterfly in there? A butterfly? Whee! Well, you I think really the the, stop at nothing, don't the big problem well, here is I'm doing Lady Goal on her own way. is just a conceited basic Your bitch. Your path leads you from one disaster to the next. Perhaps that is the right path for Spunky Goal, but it is not mine. Now listen to me, will you? Why should I? You're not listening to me either. I'm going with Cletus. You should be glad I'm not setting the organ on on you. You have exactly three seconds to get out of here. That. Is my parting gift to you. Yeah, why aren't you setting the organ One, on us? I too. Just like Cletus is why? only taking advantage of you, and when you look down on my burning cadaver, you're really going to regret some of the things you just said. There. So there. <laughs> I'm not letting go of. It's the only. Tr mm. Even in this. Hey. Do you think you? Sure. She wants. Yeah. Ah. Uh, clear. Whatever that. Hey. Be no. Yeah, no. Uh, clear. Whatever that. Oh, I'm really getting... Are you okay? More or less. Can I have a summary? Okay. We're in Argus's bomb control tower. I think that Cletus intends to trigger the detonation. Why, that's slimy. And where is Donna Gold? Actually, you are now Donna Gold. Ew. 
Yeah, Lady Goal has got your body, and she's on the balcony outside. She still thinks that everything's fine with Cletus. Perhaps you could talk to her. Maybe she'll listen to herself. I most certainly will. Luckily, I know how to talk to recalcitrant women. I learned that from you. Well, she obviously had a brilliant teacher. If her people skills are only half as good as mine, then... Huh, maybe I should follow her, just to make sure. Don't you even notice how little sense you're making? But I damn well saw it! Refrain from cursing, please. I hate it when you do that. You're hardly going to change my mind by using expletives on me. So what about using my fists on you? <laughs> how typical. Whenever you run out of arguments, you will to violence. Also known as dyslexia of the soul. Let me show you how I spell knuckle sandwich. Mm. Perhaps with an S, as in stepladder. Ladies, ladies! There are peaceful ways of settling your differences, like uh, a round of mud wrestling or something. Ah! Rufus! I might have known you were behind this. You really stop at nothing, don't you? Well, I'm doing it my way! Your path just leads you from one disaster to the next. Perhaps that is the right path for Spunky Goal, but it is not mine. It's okay, Rufus. No need for you to help me out. This is just between me and me. You go take care of Cletus. He's a bigger problem now. Oh, right. Almost forgot about him. So, where was I? In a manure pit, judging by the smell. What? Whoa. I suppose they really should. How can you carry on? So I find that of this. But back to more. I must stop. Huh? Please. But, huh? Where did he go? He, he could have gone anywhere. I love the argument about how swearing shows some kind of lack of, of vocabulary or, or lack of, of refinedness or something like that. I mean, it, it is just such a lovely argument. It, it's like, you, you are using language that I object to, therefore all your points have no merit because clearly you, know, you cannot be anything more than a simpleton because you are using language that I object to. It's a lovely bit of circular reasoning that will will surely well then, let's undo the mess make anyone, basically anyone, the life of the party, not with their personality, rather with their lynching. What? Well, what is this now? A countdown? No, 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 no! Stop! 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 Oh, they're using the same, um, that was a same alphabet as the Predator. Countdown, then what was Cletus doing here? Something fishy's going on here. Hey! Cletus, what are you doing? Open up, you coward! Why should I? So that you can go ahead and mess up my plans again, loser! Well, it looks like I already did. At least you didn't manage to trigger the bomb. So... Who's the loser now, huh? You, of course, as always. You see, I never meant to trigger the bomb. But I saw you fiddling with... I was trying to sabotage the explosion for crying out loud. Ulysses' plan was sheer lunacy. I blocked the suspension clamps. The Organon are not going to detonate the bomb with it like that. There would be little damage to the planet. It would only destroy the bomb tower. And by the time they find the fault, the Council of Elders will be aware of the existence of the Deponians. You should thank me. I saved your people. And you too, alas, for now. Don't make me laugh. The Deponians mean nothing to you, or to you, but at least I'm not afraid of admitting that. All I care about is gold. For some reason, she is hell-bent on giving Deponia a fair chance of survival. And you know me, I would gladly sacrifice the world just um, to make So now Goal is suddenly just like, oh, Deponia should be... Anyway. I actually even hope so. But what? Then, no. no, nothing about this makes sense. Cletus... Let's be Are you lying? You wouldn't have done more than that for your people, would you? So why would you make me a worse match for gold? And given that, what could possibly prevent me from taking her to Elysium? Hmm? Go ahead and stop me. <laughs> that shut you up all right, huh? Hey, you moron. What are you doing? I'm switching the countdown back on. It's a little shorter this time. 
Are you out of your mind? Shut that off this instant! Happy to oblige. Is this the switch? Oopsie! I can be such a klutz sometimes. I wish there was somebody in here who knows his way around this stuff. Too bad you already have to leave. You rotten chunk of sewer slime! What have you done this time? Let me see. Perhaps I can bypass the control. You had better pray that this works. What are you doing? It appears it is time for a bit of fisticuffs. Wasn't Donna blind in the other eye? Spongy go! What? Wait! Lady Gold still has a remote! So what? Grab the remote! No! Hey! Got it! Now what? Press it! Press the No! You... I... Flutterbacks? Go for the eyes! <laughs> Got it! Mistake! <laughs> do, 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 do. Nice Mistake. One could almost admire your persistence. I suppose I should kill you now, but I'm beginning to feel sorry for you. Who knows how I would behave if I'd been born in a landfill without any hope for a better life, without any hope. I would love to do you a favor and put an end to your useless existence. You would never hmm. give up on your own. Just a little well-aimed kick. But see, that that's the thing. The reason why Rufus doesn't give up is because Rufus has hope. So while Rufus may have been born in a landfill, he does have Couldn't hope. we discuss that after you help me up? That's Donna in go- She must be totally well. For the last time, will you give me that? Uh, I know. What are you getting at, smart ass? You know exactly what I want. This isn't about goal, is it? Quit wasting my time, you freak. Hand me that remote this instant, or we're all going to be blown to kingdom come. The bomb is ticking. Oopsie daisy. No! You crack brained numb nuts. <laughs> uh. Goal. Ha! Oh. That was just... wow! Well done! Yes, looks like it. I just didn't want to believe it. But you were obviously right about him. Why did he do that? Eh, doesn't matter now. Help me up! Yes, yes, of course. But first, I need to... I have wronged you. I just thought that... I thought you were lying to me. I should have trusted you from the very beginning, not him. Triggering the bomb sequence behind my back. Unbelievable. I could never be with such a liar. And still, that's what's happened. Cletus. Um. What is that supposed to mean? Is there something else you want? Cletus didn't lie to you. What are you saying? He didn't start that sequence. I did. You? Does that mean Cletus hasn't betrayed me after all? I knocked him down for no good reason. In a way, yes. But I'm telling you the truth. So that shows I'm the good guy here. Right? No. It only shows that the best possible Rufus is still worse than Cletus. Goal! Goal! Don't leave me hanging! I told you everything, didn't I? Goal! Mm. It's not quite that simple. Well, Rufus, once again you managed to turn the tide against yourself at the last moment. <laughs>
As I said before, you don't even want to win. At least not by cheating, right? You played pretty well so far, but eventually the cards must always be laid on the table. I've got two queens. And you? Are we playing rummy now? <laughs> Looks like you screwed up once again, Rufus. Or do you have a trump left up your sleeve that I'm not aware of? You think this is a game? This is about an entire planet full of innocent people. Oh, that's enough of your pseudo-moral nonsense. For you, this was never about the people. This was about you getting the girl. So, my friend, what is the difference between you and me? Maybe the fact that I'm not an arrogant snot? Precisely. You are the filthy underdog. The outsider from the underclasses. But only as long as you all. You can't win without becoming exactly like me. No more than you can live on Elysium without destroying Deponia. There is no scenario in which you This isn't the end, you know. Oh, I see. You're hoping for a third act. The hero dashes onto the runway, knocks on the window of the high boat. There's only one catch, Rufus. You are not a hero. You are a tragic comic clown. And this is not a romantic comedy. This is some sort of self-reflective, independent crap in which there are no answers at the end. No happy ending. Only a good look at an ugly reflection, which then blabs the subtext as well. Chaos cannot win when the goal is order. <laughs> Something like that. I've still got- You're still missing a queen for your full goal! Oh, never mind that one. You can keep her. The game is over, and the jackpot is enough for me. Two amazing, gorgeous women. One on the left, one on the right, and me in the middle. <laughs> her purest and noblest qualities finally reunited. More than enough goal for a modest man like me. All you have is a stupid cartridge with nothing but goals, mental and childhood troubles. That one is rude, defiant, argumentative, forever spreading chaos. Just like Rufus. Exactly. Completely useless. Uh, you do realize you're talking about me, right? What? <laughs> At least I'm honest. You like that about me, don't you? Yes. Mm. Yes, you're right, of course. But it's a piece of yourself, Goal. Without it, you'll never be complete. So what? We don't give a hoot. I have the better goals and the ascension codes. We should finally crank up the countdown now. It's not like I can switch it off at this point. Thank you, Rufus. But at least the explosion will be limited to the tower itself. Say, thank you, Cletus. Because I'm a gentleman, I shall give you and your rebel buddies enough time to make a hasty retreat. That's what you do best, after all. Farewell, Rufus. You weren't really a worthy opponent, but that probably would have been asking too much. No! You can't do that! Cletus! Goal belongs together! Wait! I... Uh, uh, this is getting a bit exhausting! It's... Uh... Great! They've stopped shooting. Oh, at last. Do you think we won? Actually, I'm not sure. Ah! <laughs> Ouch. Rufus! Listen up, everybody! It's Rufus! Yeehaw. Uh, oh. Janos? You guys are alive? Of course we're alive. What did you think? We need to get out of here as fast as possible. The tower is about to explode. Then let us gather everyone together as fast as we can. Don't forget me. Goal! Not her again. Goal! You? But wh why aren't you with Cletus? Well, the prospect of going home was really tempting, but I would have missed an important part of myself. A and Cletus? I locked him out on the gangway. Spunky Girl would surely have found a more dramatic solution, but I found myself hmm. cool enough. 
and Cletus blew a fuse. However, in the light of the impending explosion, he must have decided that one goal was enough for him. Speaking of which, we mustn't waste any time. But what about you? I mean, what about your third part? Aren't you gonna miss baby goal as well? Hmm, you know, I happened to find this on my way down here. She is definitely going to change her mind. Just trust me. Ambassador, it is time. The tower has been evacuated. We must leave at once. All right. All right. By the way, Gore, I knew you'd come back. Oh, no, you didn't. Yes, I did. I can leave again, you know. But you won't. August plan went awry, and Anne of the story. You have to admit you enjoyed it a bit. Now you saw a reason, dumped your egotism, and weighed against the public benefit. Because close to the bonus, where you need cojones oh. And platypuses and memberships to opposing underground organizations oh. So do unpack the back, now it's anyway way too late to uh. sack me And secondly, where am I gonna stay? Right! That has been Chaos on Deponio. It's a very interesting game when you compare it to the first one. Of course, first games in, in these kinds of series often do have some sort of... Like, the narrative might not be complete and, and the, the direction it's going might not be apparent, but when you go into this uh, second one, there's a lot more characters, a lot more locations, there's just so much more polish and effort and, and cleverness there. It, it really shows our great passion towards what they were doing. And it's kind of, it's a nice, exciting... It, it's a nice low point in the story where we can just pick up the third one and move on. Because now that the now that goal is with Rufus again, now that the um, now that the Organon have been foiled for the time being, and now that there's been kind of some hints made towards... Well... Basically towards what's going on with Rufus in, in actuality. And, and that is... It, it's an interesting bit of, bit of the, like narrative where you think Okay, so Rufus might be a trash baby, he might not be, but he's also has one dominant personality trait. He's very much like Spunky Goal. Could there be more to him? What is there more to him? And all these kinds of things. They're very interesting and they're a good way to develop the character that started out as an arrogant asshole and is now growing to be something beyond that. I mean, he's still arrogant, he's still sometimes very dickish, he doesn't see further than his own nose, but at the same time, there's starting to be some real concern in his character for his friends, the, the number of which has actually grown during this. All animals involved in this action-packed adventure are exceptionally trained, uh, something something don't do this at home and here we see the theme so with that I am going to leave you for now so join me again on Monday for the first part of goodbye Deponia for now I bid you